who will provide economic leadership beyond the crisis? Do you think there's anybody that is actually out there providing leadership? Economic leadership? Yes. Is how do you define economic leadership? <laughs> is that economic policy leadership in terms of regulating financial markets or leading the actual growth, the economic growth, and that's where we're going to see Asia coming in? Asia coming in. And what about personalities? What do you think? <laughs> Wow, this is a, these are big questions, yeah. absolutely. Okay, but give me a no, I agree with Chantal that Asia will be, in, in the short term, will definitely be driving the economic growth, that's for sure. Now, in terms of leadership, in terms of economic policy, the individuals, um, I, I think that I'm willing to say that Barack Obama will be one of the people who, I'm hopeful that he will continue to kind of keep the reforms going that, that need to be done. So I'll, I'll put my chips on Barack Obama. Well, I don't remember the name of this British gentleman who just uh, who's one, the head of the regulatory agency ah, in Britain, Turner, Lord Turner, Turner, who just yes. put on the table, back on the table, uh, taxing uh, financial transaction to, big, to build a, a pool of resources for global development. That's innovative. The idea has been around. The idea has been you know, put away, brought back. But we're still looking for ways to have resources to achieve those goals. You know, we keep talking about global governance and we need to do this and that. Well, resources are going to have to come from somewhere. And taxation now is still domestically done at, you know, almost everywhere. There's very few resources coming at the global level. And that type of leadership, it's economic policy. I mean, beyond this is economic thing thinking big, thinking development, human development and economic development. I, I was very surprised. I don't know this guy, but he's not Obama. I love Obama. <laughs> no, well, he, he did put the idea out there of the, the Tobin right. tax. What about yes. the Brits? They just drove a deal for the reform of the international financial institutions. They got the deal in Pittsburgh for the first time. Yeah. Yeah, but, so you know, what changed is going to just be changed. Yeah, the brown. Board. Well, you know. So you don't think it's much because I just got back from Brazil. I just got back from Latin America. And that, for the stories that I'm hearing from that side, is huge. Mm. But it's not something that people here are locking in. Well, I think in terms of the G20 is definitely the new forum where leadership will take place. That That's. That's no doubt. I think you know they, the G8 still exists, but only until Huntsville. Afterwards, there won't be any any more G8. Uh, but yeah, I think the, the G20 is a new forum, and that makes sense for economic leadership. Uh, and we'll have to see what the Financial Stability Board will do. That that's really the the, the thing uh, in terms of new reforms and whether you know there's going to be enough political momentum behind it. But we'll see. You're still not convinced. Doesn't sound like. Let's say that I, I'm, I'm uh, by because I'm an accountant by training. I, I, I was told that I had to be professionally skeptic. So right. that's what I am. That's good. Well, thank you very much, thank and you. I Welcome. hope you enjoyed the conference. Of course, Thanks. absolutely. Thank you.